In this video, I would like to quickly show you how I'm again importing a set of new designs. So I press spacebar, import STL, or I could use the menu. I select all my files, or export it, import, and there they are. I click one object, spacebar, shade smooth, modifier, edge split, control L, and copy that edge split modifier I did to this object, to all other objects. And then I have to reposition it, shift click the blade with everything else selected, press N, right mouse button, and copy. Perfect. Now the blade I can delete. And those two parts may be put on the fourth layer. Now I have old version, this one, blade. Oh, and the new version. Let's flip the orders. So you see actually what I did different in this version. I added threading and an oval mold shape. Because right now, I actually would like to maybe add some other materials. Let's, let's go to Google and type in Blender Cycles Shader Aluminum Click Images or Anodized spelling error. And then you will see actually you will find many images. And for example, here I know by the link it provided me, that's actually something on BlendSwap. So there are a lot of materials online you can find. Let's click on this one, BlendSwap. You can create a new account, then log in, and for example, download this one. So let me go to the desktop. And here it is. So here's a blend file and some preview renderings of those materials inside. So how do we get these materials now into Blender? That's actually pretty easy. I want to get anodized metal. So I go to file, append, not import. Go to where I downloaded the blend file. And when I click the blend file, you will see it opens it like a folder and now everything from brush, camera, image, material, mesh, everything I can import or can link. So material and this one. And the difference between linking and importing here with those assets is I can, for example, have multiple files and link this material into other files. And when I change this anodized material once, it's being pushed into the other files. Or with the append, it basically copies it into the file. So I click anodized, this one. Click, for example, that part and say anodized. Let's do the same here as well. And for example, plastic for the over molded part. Okay, let's take a look. And there you see, I brought in an anodized material. So that's, for example, the way how you can quickly, again, re-import design variations, use layers um, to structure your design, and, for example, bring over then different material you didn't create into Blender. And then when I click the subject here, there I see, for example, how everything got created. This is actually a group. If I press tab, it opens it. <laughs> um, looks confusing right now, but at one point, when you pay a little bit of attention with how this stuff works, it's actually pretty simple. 